Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing yoga for the reproductive system. This is part of the series, the program that I'm doing on my website called Yoga for the or Vital Organs and Systems. So we did a lot of the organs, now we're starting the systems and the glands. Today is yoga for the reproductive system. We're covering um, the reproductive system, but also um, no system works on its own. So besides um, the testes and the ovaries and the uterus, we're also focusing or on the adrenals, the pituitary gland, the parasympathetic nervous system, and any emotional trauma stored in the reproductive system. So we're moving energy, uh, moving chi, uh, circulation also into that area and we are uh, releasing stored, uh, stored um, memory, emotional trauma, anything that is um, uh, disturbing the healthy pattern of uh, the energy flowing through the system. We're calming down a little bit, allowing the parasympathetic nervous system to function properly and really um, uh, govern or uh, create a balance in all of the glands, the glandular system, in all of the organs. So um, the class is going to be a level two vinyasa, strong, uh, fluid. Um, there is going to be a lot of calming poses in it. So remember to flow with strength and ease and join me on my website for the rest of the series. Namaste. For this class, you will need a block and just bring yourself <laughs> with the block. The block can be substituted for a pillow, a softball, Pilates ball, um, something of this size for squeezing between the knees. And let's step at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, pull the belly in, let's bring the hands over the lower belly or around, right around, underneath the belly button. And inhale into that area from the outside, but also from, from the nose. Close the eyes for a moment. Inhale. Few more inhalations, really full inhalations in the belly. Feel chi beginning to move. You consciously moving chi energy through that area. Circulation. creating an intention to peacefully surrender to all resistance and struggle and to move forward with inner strength through inner guidance. To tap into your creativity lovingly, to create a loving relationship with your one of your creative centers, that is the area of the womb. For men and women, it is creativity we're creating here. It is a portal, a gateway. The Virgo sign represents this womb area, zero point of creation portal for um, astral beings to um, become embodied, to come here on Earth, coming from outside into the Earth plane or into this density into this um, dimension that's visible to us. So this is a very, very powerful, powerful area in the human body. For women, of course, it is the, the womb and it's um, conception. Creating a concept is powerful. 
not only um, literally, but the idea of concept. So moving energy as you breathe, feel the energy move. Your mind is really powerful, utilize it. Move energy with your intention, with your vision, with your breath. Anything can be cured with the breath. Anything can be transformed, I should say, through the breath. Any state that we've gotten stuck in can be transformed from the inside out. Inhale the hands over the head, press the palms together and reach over to one side, elongating both sides, look up. And back to center, opposite. And back to center one more time. Usually when, um, not usually, but oftentimes when women have um, reproductive uh, system issues, mostly um, with conception, that's too much, uh, the energy is too much up in the head, mental energy. So we have to drop down in the body, whether we want to uh, increase fertility or heal. the glands, the function of the glands. We have to drop in the body. Exhale and place one hand over your heart and one over the area of the womb. But for males, it would be um, um, the testicles or the lower area. So you can just adjust here, but um, feel the energy in the hands. For females, imagine beautiful almond-shaped ovaries and a uterus just sparkling and glowing with health. Same thing for males. For males, it would be prostate, testes. For females, it's um, ovaries and uterus and, um, of course, adrenals for both. Mulabanda. Now the reproductive system is a reflection of the function of the other systems. So nothing in the body can be isolated as stand alone, they all work together and reflect upon each other. But we begin to move energy there, harmonize, balance. Inhale, reach over the head and exhale halfway down. Look ahead of you, bend the knees and drop down and just move side to side here. Gently unlocking areas in the back that feel stiff. Soften the face, the face muscles. Take the right arm up, bend the left knee, look up. Drop it down, opposite side. Drop it down, exhale. Halfway up, bend the knees and we're gonna do a stomach vacuum. Two more. (laughs) 
one more. And inhale, reach over the head. Exhale, dive. Inhale, look ahead. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale, the right leg up. Open the hip, lift. Bend the knee. Soften and relax the hip area. Bring openness there. So energy flowing in the hip, flushing the, en the hip area with a new energy. Think of energy as also um, just beyond particles, circulation, blood, air, etc. Prana, chi, ether intention all right drop it behind wild thing and reverse step it through high lunge open the arms out twist and drop the right hand down left arm up Exhale, left hand down. Flex the right foot. Drop on the other edge of the foot and just massage your hip here. Touch brings flow energy wherever we will bring the hands. So it reminds us to flow the energy there. All right, side plank. Then knee tucks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, take the left leg up, open the hip, Drop the foot behind you, bending the knee. Soften. Let the energy flow. Drop it behind while thing. Side plank. Then knee tucks one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One legged plank, step it through. High lunge. Twist and drop the left hand down, right arm up, look up. Exhale, the right hand here and open. Flex the left foot, open, massage the left hip or just bring your hand there for the flow of energy there. And blank. Hold blank. We're going to drop the knees on the ground and do a few 
fluid moves here in the back, bringing the belly in, lifting the belly. Arching and rounding in a fluid fashion. Deepen it a little, reach back, round forward, arch, round. Breathe. One last. Plank. Walk your hands to the back, forward fold. Open the feet out, yogic squat, very important for reproductive health, hips, uh, lower back. So a lot of the reproductive issues may appear as lower back pain, sciatica, um, kidney adrenals. It is all interconnected. In plank. Chaturanga. Um, dog, chaturanga, down dog. You can keep your knees straight and lift the heels one at a time up. Kind of like Jamaican dance, booty dance. So lift, 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 lift. Keep the legs straight without locking the knees. We're just moving the hips here or like a belly dance. <sighs> Loosen everything, shake it out. You can shake the legs. Walk back to the feet, forward fold. Inhale, coming up, arch, and exhale, hands over the heart. Coming up onto the tippy toes, drop, tippy toes, Heel drop for longevity and um, glandular function. A few more heel drops. Oof. Feel the vibration. Good, let's go to the front. Inhale, reach, exhale, dive. Inhale, look ahead, plank, chaturanga. Up dog, chaturanga down dog. Feel flu fluidity, your breath, fluidity in your body, in your um, reproductive area. Inhale, right leg comes up, high lunge. Let's bring the left knee into the right hand and twist. Look back. Step it back, high lunge. One more time. Smooth transition. Step it back. One more time. Step it back. Hands in prayer twist. Hands on the floor, plank, one-legged plank, right leg up. Then knee tucks only with the right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it through, left one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Squeeze it in. Step it through. High lunge. And twist. Hand to knee. Look back over your right hand. Step it back. One more time. 
stepping back. One more time. Step it back, hands in prayer, lengthen and twist. And let's release down plank. Here we're going to bring the right knee in and across from the body and side plank, a form of side plank here. Reach forward, reverse, left and open. Reach forward. One more, right side. Opposite side. And plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Chaturanga. Downward dog. Take the right leg up. Step it through, warrior one. Step at the front, wrap your left leg around the right, left arm under the right. Sit back, soften the back of the shoulders. Unwrap, grab your left ankle with your left hand, then search pose. Wrap again, same thing. And again, open, stretching the belly. One more time. And step it back. High lunge. Bring your hands onto your shoulders and we're gonna spin just about 10 times. Inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Vinyas. Breathe. Powerful breath. Inhale the left leg up, step it through, warrior one. Wrap around, right arm under, left above. Wrap and soften the back of the shoulder, sit, feel. And dancers. Stretching the hip flexor once again. Dancers. Once again. Step it back. High lunge, hands onto the shoulders. And we're gonna spin.
been a few times, elbows. Try to keep them high. And plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up and open the hip. Well thing. This pose is great for moving circulation in the reproductive system. Chi. And turn it around, step it through, warrior two. Reverse it. Side angle. Standing half moon, glide your right hand in front of your right foot. Back to side angle. You can go back through a arm balance. Chaturanga, down dog. Take the left leg up, open. Wild thing. Step it through, warrior two. Reverse it. Side angle. Feel the length, the stretch, the circulation, the movement. Look down and you're going to shift into standing half moon. Flex the foot, project through the heel, feel the energy circuits in the body, firing up. Side angle. And an arm balance. To Chaturanga, to up dog. To Chaturanga. To down dog. Breathe. Take the right leg up. Warrior one. Here we're going to do one sweeping motion, grabbing the left foot with the right hand. Do your best. If you can't, grab your knee again. Step it back into warrior one. And we're gonna do it again. <laughs> so focus on your drishti, on your breath, on your equanimity. Step it back. Third one. And here we're gonna turn forward and place the foot either in the upper thigh, again, stimulating for the reproductive system, for those of you that can, place it in a half lotus. 
you can reach with your left hand, wrap it around to grab this foot and either stay here, reaching with the right hand, or you can go into a forward fold, the heel gently massaging the reproductive area and the head relaxing, the body relaxing. All right, the slow come back up. Beautiful. We step back in warrior one. You can reach side to side here, elongating both sides. Great, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga down dog. Take the left leg up, warrior one. Feel the hips, awareness of the hips. Feel the energy moving through the body, through the hips. Consciousness brings energy. So as we bring the awareness and even the touch, we sink, with the touch we sink the physical, with the flow. And we're gonna bring the hand to the foot or you can do the knee. Step it back. One more. Step it back. One more. Feel that twist, twisting action. And the pose of your choice here. Not everybody can or should do have um, lotus. It's not necessary if you can. It's beneficial. If it bothers your knees, skip it, do three pose. And you can go into a forward fold here. Again, optional, but oh, amazing. Just a melt, <laughs> melt onto yourself pose. before we completely surrender, come back up. Step it back, warrior one. You can move a little here. And plank. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga to plank. And here we're going to tap the shoulders with the opposite hand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Right leg up, left arm up. Change, balance, and again, 10 taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Lift, change, and taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Lift. Change and child's pose. Good. 
come up to sit it. Either Sukhasana, easy seated pose, or half lotus or full lotus. Again, up to you. And you can lay down onto your elbows. And you can bring the crown of the head down. Let's get up. Forward fold. Hands pointing towards you. Elbows into the belly. So take any stage of this. If you just stay here, that's fine. Elbows massaging the belly. It should not feel painful at all. It's, if anything, it's extremely pleasant. It's kind of like deep tissue massage, but not as strong. And you can shift and lift your legs. And release to plank to all fours, to a few somatic moves in the body. Being in the body, feeling the body. And let's bring the hands on the ground. Either headstand or half a headstand. So you can just walk your legs close to you and leave them there. You can take them up or you can take one leg up and you can have the wall behind you. And slowly you can come out of it. Sukhasana or sitting on your heels can, can be really therapeutic here. So either this or this, choose whichever one works for you. Alternate if you repeat this class, you can alternate them. Hands on the shoulders, fingers forward, thumb in the back, and we're gonna inhale on the left, exhale to the right with rapid somewhat rapid movement. Try to use the full range of your eyes. You're scanning the entire room and as far as you can go. So you're also using, using that center here. Inhale to the left, exhale with a release, letting go. If you have anything that you feel energetically in your body, it's stuck energy, stagnation, stiffness, uh, mugginess, um, muddy water, smoky, um, kind of smoke, gray smoke, just exhale it and see it being drained and to be really renewed in the earth. So we're pulling magnetic, ele electromagnetic energy from the earth. We're magnetizing ourselves as we inhale and we release as we exhale. Let's go. <laughs> Great, coming out of it. Sukhasana maybe. We're going to do just one round of Wim Hof style breath. So inhale rapidly or inhale strongly, I should say. Exhale through the mouth or nose and however you want. And then we'll hold the breath out 
for 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 60 seconds, somewhere there we're doing one round. Uh, but feel free to do more after the class. It's really good for balancing the system and uh, releasing stress really. You can arch. <laughs> Let's do one more. And we're going to bring the right leg into the upper thigh and reach up, optional, right hand around. Again, if this is too much, don't wrap around or keep your right foot into the thigh, forward fold. Again, massaging here. Coming up, bend. Bend your left foot. And we're going to reach with the left hand this time, wrap around. Clasp behind if you can, if not, no big deal. Forward fold again, massaging. Inhale, come up and release. Sit onto your heel. So now you're locking up Mula Bandha with the heel and forward fold.
inhale come up we're gonna sit on the opposite foot inhale exhale Coming up, either keep the foot into your upper thigh or half lotus, forward fold, or forward fold with a clasp, optional. Inhale, coming up, right arm wraps around and clasps behind, forward fold, massaging the belly. Inhale, coming up and you can release the foot. <clears throat> Bound angle pose. Feel the energy flowing. Forward fold. with the legs apart so white wide leg forward fold feel the back feel the energy surrender flow create a loving intention for loving relationship with your creativity with your one of your creative centers inhale coming up and we're gonna reach side to side feel free to hold the sides or just move fluidly from side to side. If you choose to move, the intention here is touch and let go. We don't linger, we don't try to perfect it. We don't, we don't rely on perfection in order to be happy with it. We just feel it and we allow it and we move on. We accept it as it is, we enjoy it as it is, and we flow with it. Beautiful plank. You're not done. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. High lunge. And we're gonna hop and bring the knee in or hop the knee up. And again, lunge, hop, knee in or hop up. If knee is in, you feel the connection here. Hop, hop, connection, hop, connection, hop, Connection. <sighs> Lymphatic system moving, great. And let's twist to the right, stretching the hip flexor here, allowing it to surrender, release. Also the psoas, the psoas could be the reason for symptomology in the reproductive system. The psoas holds trauma. As we know, it's a deep muscle, but any muscle can, any part of the body can hold trauma. The psoas is a, maybe a little more popular <laughs> site. It's a deep muscle. It's also, a, 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 along with, along with, um, uh,
Well, let's just uh, stay with the sauce at the moment. The sauce, oftentimes when we contract, it pulls us in into a um, protection mode. When someone is being attacked, they contract. So the sauce can store it from a shock, trauma, and vinyasa. Down dog. Inhale the left leg up, step it through, high lunge. Hop. This goes into the hip flexor, some sauce. And connection, one. And twist to your left. Feel the lengthening, stretch, surrender, release, allowing for things to be released out of the body. and step at the front grab your block we're gonna sit on the wall with the block squeezing the block so sit down place your lower back onto the wall squeeze the block mula panda and hold the lower belly lifts and the transverse abdominis moves in towards the mid, middle, midline. And ooh, squeeze, ooh. Mula Bandha squeeze. Shoulders back, chin parallel to the floor. Squeeze, release, Mula Bandha. As you squeeze Mula Bandha, release. Squeeze Mula Bandha, release. And to come out, hands on the wall, push yourself out. Sit down. Eyes, side par eyes looking at the parallel, at the horizontal line. And we're gonna move them all the way to the right. Pass where we typically stop. And all the way to the left, you can hold your chin. To make sure you're not moving. And right. And left. One more. And let's do right up, left down. Move it at your own pace. And the other diagonal. Up and down. Try not to wrinkle your forehead, that's a hard one without a mirror. If you have a mirror, use it. Some people generally are thinkers or warriors. So it's habitual.
Another side of stored emotion, not gonna talk about it with the sauce, is also the vagal, vagal nerve. Again, parasympathetic nervous system, it holistically affects the muscles, the fascia, the nervous system, all the systems and organs, really, the glands. All right, hands over them. Either for females, for both is going to be first and second chakra area, so let's say that. I don't want to say womb, but womb for females and prostate testicles for males. I don't want to say testicles too many times in one class, but it's already been a few times. I don't want to, for you to giggle, <laughs> or maybe it's good to giggle during Shavasana. Giggle and travel in later on, just go into that space of oneness, unity, and zero point. But for now, we're just moving the energy here and we create a powerful intention to release any negative energy, emotion, thought pattern, uh, habitual pattern, um, body pattern of holding the body a certain way, so physical pattern in the muscles, in the fascia, in the organ. So we release any um, negative pattern that is not serving the highest good of our soul. We release it. And here I'm going to use the, um, something from Bradley Nelson, emotional um, emotion code. You're going, it's very loosely on, on his uh, thing. It's really, um, basically we're gonna go over the governing meridian as we release that holding, negative holding pattern, whether it's emotion, um, a, a thought pattern, mental pattern, physical pattern, um, habitual pattern, anything that is stored in there as emotion or as trauma, as memory, we release it so you can glide from uh, the third eye pretty much to the base of the neck three times with your hand and we release it. And exhale and just feel a toss out. Like a, 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 a load that has been released. Something was let go and removed from the system, from the energetic system, from the energetic grid. And that freshness of emptiness of um, uh, space is an invitation for a new energy to come in that is fresh, that is uh, crystalline, that is in alignment with the highest um, purpose of our own soul. So we, we invite the energy that supports our um, highest good and we release everything that was holding us back. Come back to this class that might need to be a few repetitions. Those things sometimes happen in one go, they do. Believe it, believe in miracles, but sometimes we have to uh, remove, peel the layers off. We, re we remove one memory, okay? And then there is other memory stored there. So we're, then we go deeper in the layers, in the tissues, in the, in the peels. And let's do a forward fold. You can use your block if it's whew, almost knocked my ball. And you can use your block to just place your head here. That's really good for the parasympathetic nervous system to just calm everything down. Surrender and the release is what is washing over our body. Inhale up and lay down. Plow.
and lift, shoulder stand. And lower down. <sighs> Happy baby. And you can do a, a supine twist here if you prefer to. And for Shavasana, either put your legs up a wall, very good for the reproductive system, or you can lay with the block underneath your back, adjust it. You can place it underneath the tailbone or underneath the shoulder blades, however you wanna do that. And you can bring the soles of the feet together and feel energy flowing through the hips. Allowing yourself to move energy, observe energy, clear energy. So tune in, tune in your body, be present in your body and observe energy, move energy and allow yourself to also switch, go a little deeper into the zero point or nothingness and stay there for a moment. If at any point you need to um, exit, um, say, Baddha Konasana, the bound angle pose, you can just gently come out of the pose and lay in Shavasana. Or you can stay here, you can also extend the legs. Allow yourself to tune in and travel as deep as you wish to. You can travel just into observing the energy in the body, the flow, the deeper self or the nothingness. And remember to flow with strength and ease. Namaste.